Usually when I see people talking about The Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion, it's with glowing praise, nostalgia, and a love for all the classic ridiculous quests that this game is known for. Now look, I don't harbor any ill will towards Oblivion. I actually love this game and have very deep nostalgia for it like most. But this game has always, and will always, creep me the fuck out. I've tried to record Oblivion for the channel several times, and I've stopped playing almost immediately every single time, either because I didn't have what I thought was a good enough idea for a video, or nothing really popped into my head of a silly adventure that I can go on. This isn't due to a lack of ridiculous adventures available in this game. That's how obviously visible I am to them. <laughs> I'm right there. Because you know, if you've played this before, there's a bunch of options for what a funny video could be made on. This is simply due to the constant stage fright and anxiety that this game is inducing in me at all times while playing. See, this game is just so goddamn... He's here! Oh, Jesus! Stop! Let me explain. Right off the rip, this game starts you in this dark, dingy, dreary, dirty, any other D word, dungeon, creepy background music, and the soothing but very serious voice of Sir Patrick Stewart. Let me see your face. You make your way through the dungeon and caves, but only for him to be murdered in what is possibly the most embarrassing display of secret service of all time. <sighs> Aside from the comical murder of Professor X, this intro is dark and dark. I didn't even mention the existential douchebag cellmate that you have to start the game with. Then, if you're lucky, they kill you. That's right. You're going to die. All the themes of this intro, skulls, mutilated bodies, goblins, skeletons, zombies, rats, all those themes, as soon as you exit, they're thrown completely out the window as you make your way outside. You go from the dark dungeon and caves that you're in to walking around a fucking sound garden music video. I'm supposed to be cheery and excited for my adventure, but instead I feel like I just dropped acid and my friends are all staring at me strangely. Stop, it's so creepy how they just stare. All this in a world where the saturation is cranked up to a thousand. Now this game still looks good, especially for the time, but it just adds to that creep factor that I get from it. Be it the incredibly eerie background music, the sudden zoom into a character's face as time awkwardly stops around you, leaving you captive to some of the most uncanny and unnerving facial animation of all time. Thank you Bethesda for not including this feature in any of your other games. You, you backed it up a little bit for Fallout 3 and New Vegas, and then after that it was just gone. Seriously, if you bring this feature back in Elder Scrolls 6, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. By all means, feel free to bring back the hilarious NPC interactions, though. These never get old. Have pity on an old war veteran. How can I help you? The news from Anvil is terrible. <laughs> you heard about the attack on the chapel there? No, I haven't. What's happened? All the priests slaughtered? The whole chapel desecrated? No! <laughs> Aside from the robot-like NPCs who all somehow look like they simultaneously want to bake me a batch of cookies and rip me in half while my entire family watches, we have the one thing in this game that scares me beyond belief. Surprise approach, quest giver NPCs. Take this. It's from a friend. I live in constant anxiety whenever I play this game because I'm just afraid that at any moment anyone can just pop up and fill my screen with their ugly face, their sunken eyeballs. Pardon me. This doesn't only apply to the quest givers, by the way. Although they are the scariest, the Imperial Guards, they're not getting off light. They're also scary as shit. What the fuck was that? It's all over, Lord Jesus Breaker. Christ, you scared Your the hell out of me. Is... And what's worse is that I start to even suspect NPCs who aren't planning on engaging me in dialogue because they all have the same fucking walking animation. Doesn't the name say what are you all? doing? Speak. It's an oh, what are you coming at me for, man? Oh my misses. God. <laughs> it's just weird. It's not human. It's just creepy and weird and I hate it and I hate anticipating it and I wish I could ignore it, but I can't because God, besides all that creepy stuff, this game is really brilliant. The quests are fun, you go on all sorts of ridiculous adventures, the NPCs are hilarious to listen to, and the bugginess of the game is just so 
bad, but in the most beautifully nostalgic way possible. The of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the I love this game, but it never fails to send shivers down my spine incredibly fast. So today I stood up to my fears, and for the first time, successfully played Oblivion for the channel. If you guys enjoy this one and you would like a series where I cover some of the quests that I was just talking about, where the surprise approach NPC scares the living shit out of me, let me know in the comments any quests you want me to check out. But today, we're just messing around. Thank you to Patreons Luke Kavara, Jack the Black, Gamer Guy Scorch, Jordan Hart, Hammock Therapy, Arkham, and Pangy. Appreciate it, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.